Yes, it, it seems to seems to be uh, right now from this perspective a good decision to uh, to have played uh, Eastbourne. Um, obviously, I was not playing too many of the events in the week prior to the, the beginning of the Grand Slam in my career, but I've decided to do so this time because I felt like I needed more matches in general, but uh, especially on the grass that is very unique surface that requires um, time for adaptation and adjustment, especially for the movement. So um, I felt like this time I, I needed a proper tournament um, rather than just playing a couple of exhibition matches. So um, I'm glad I've made that decision and, uh, and that, I, that I went to Eastbourne because it was a very positive experience on and off the court as well. He was one of the the, the 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 players on the tour that I've had closest relationship to even during the active career, which wasn't easy, and it's not easy, obviously, you know, because he was top ten player and we were kind of competitors and rivals, but uh, we always had a tremendous respect and and uh, uh, support towards each other, and we spent a lot of time off the court and speak the same language, so things were. Uh, things were very easy for us in in terms of communication, and and after that, after you know, obviously he was very unfortunate with his injuries and 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 illnesses that kind of uh, ended his career, and it's it's really unfortunate because he's definitely one of the most talented players that I have I have ever seen, and he was very very you know very smart, very educated always, and uh, just very kind guy, um, you know, admired by many people and respected around the tour. So. You know, we, we spoke and then he said that he, he was anyway coming to London and that um, he would be happy to spend some time with Andre and myself uh, during Wimbledon. And uh, that's that's more or less everything we talked about in terms of what comes after that. We'll we'll see, uh, you know, we'll take a day at a time and see how how everything flows during this tournament and then and then see see where that, that takes us. You know, I used to base all my happiness on winning a tennis match. And I think many athletes today are doing that. So I, I try not to do that anymore because it's just, it's not like I don't care about winning and losing a tennis match. Absolutely not. I, I of course, I'd love to win every tennis match that I play in, but I, I don't try to, you know, take that as, as very essential, uh, you know, moment in my life which you know determines my happiness uh so it's it's a different approach but uh you know i'm still here and i'm still motivated and still i still keep on going and i'm still glad for uh to to kind of experience whatever professional tennis career has for me